have you ever experienced crawling sensation either under your skin or on your skin and you take a look there is nothing there then it happens elsewhere on your body you take a look there is nothing there then it happens again and again in different parts of your body it is called formication in medicine formication not fornication when it happens some people feel oh maybe they have blood infection or maybe they have parasitic infestation so they start asking doctors to give them warm expeller or antibiotics it is tactile hallucination and it is not as a result of any blood infection or worm infestation. Tactile hallucination has happened to most people in the past. The truth is, some people have hallucinations. They may see things that are unreal. It is called visual hallucination. They may hear voices. It is called auditory hallucination. These are not normal at all and they should be promptly reported. But what about tactile hallucination? Well, it is also a feeling that you have, but when you look at your skin, you do not find anything. But that does not invalidate your feeling. So formication may include tingling sensation, crawling sensation, burning sensation. So you may feel like something is stinging you, in different parts of your body all of them come under the umbrella name formication or paresthesia now what are the causes of formication and why is it important to discuss it it's important because of its possible association with mental health some mental health conditions yes so what are the causes in women menopausal women it may just be menopause or perimenopause that is responsible in, in perimenopause, the periods have not completely ceased, but they have become irregular. But in menopause, the person has not menstruated for a whole 12 months or longer. When that happens, a lot of skin conditions begin to happen. You may have wrinkling of your skin, drying of the skin, tingling, and all forms of paresthesia. When you experience this as a result of menopause, if you do know that it is menopause or perimenopause that caused it, then your fears will be allayed. Now, other causes may include neurological problems like peripheral neuropathy or Parkinson's disease or other forms of neurological problems. It may also be caused by uh, drug use, illegal drug use. So for those that take cocaine or those that take excessive alcohol, they may have this tactile hallucination as a result of intake of these drugs or substances or as a result of withdrawal from these substances. So there are alcoholics who are undergoing uh, rehabilitation and then they are complaining of tactile hallucination. Yes. Or sometimes it is as a result of certain prescribed medications. You'll be surprised. Some antibiotics can cause it. And that is why it is transient in a lot of people. So they have it today for a week and then it's all gone. That's because the primary cause has been withdrawn since you have stopped taking the medication you no longer have it but for some others it is as a result of some mental health conditions which mental health conditions are associated it may be somatized depression yes some people have depression and predominantly the symptoms they have are physical symptoms rather than psychological mental or emotional symptoms so they are telling you, no, they are not depressed. Their mood is stable. They, are, they don't have any psychological issues affecting them. Or they acknowledge some psychological issues, but they say, no, but I've overcome it. However, most of the symptoms they are having that are physical are related to depression. So it may be as a result of depression, which when reported early can be taken care of promptly. This may also be as a result of schizophrenia. Some schizophrenics have lost touch with reality. They are talking to themselves because they are hearing voices. So they are replying those voices. Some of them, they are seeing things. They are seeing people that you don't see, you know, that are unreal. And so they are conversing with those people. That's when they talk to themselves. But when they say tactile um, hallucination, you don't see anything. You are quick to dismiss their claims. Please do not dismiss their claims. While some mental health 
conditions can cause it. It can also lead to other mental health conditions. For example, some people lose sleep, especially in this part of the world when they have formication, because they feel that maybe people are after them. Maybe it's an attack, a spiritual attack from enemies. So some of them, they begin to, be, to get anxious. And in time, it can lead to anxiety disorder. So rather than dismiss their claims, why not let them see a doctor? There is treatment for it. We may not use medications. It may just be therapy, and then they will be fine. So please, formication is something that we need to bring to the notice of everyone. So what are you going to do with this video? Please share it with everyone you know, with your friends and family members, because everyone needs to know so that we can allay people's fears so that they will not lose sleep and they will know why they are experiencing it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more educative videos like this. And then always remember, good health is great wealth. We will forever be grateful for it. I'll see you again next week, God willing, with yet another topic. Until then, please take care of yourself. Bye.